How confident am I? Not particularly, as I just went online with one of the worst side hustle apps, in my humble opinion, at least what I've experienced here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, that is Walmart Spark. But I have like three incentive programs right now. It says if you take 10 runs, we'll give you $200 before tips guaranteed. Let me know if you agree with this. I really don't like that Spark Incentive Programs, the bonus program for you as a driver, they count stacked orders as one trip. So there's no reward. If you're gonna go for an incentive program to take stacked orders, it's two or more assignment for one driver, it's gonna typically take longer, pay attention to the miles obviously, but I want just one drop off runs because I do 10, I get $200. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna hit that. There's another one that if I did six runs today, I get an incentive as well. I'll put it up for you right now. But I gotta go to the Walmart or the Sam's Club and I just went online. I'm gonna go online for, I don't know, maybe four hours or something. It's been a while. And we're all about second, third, fourth <laughs> chances apparently. I don't like Spark, but it's been a while, so let's see. All right, here we are, 25 minute commutes. Let me show you what I got and absolutely nothing <laughs> i only got that one request which is kind of wild i only got that one request during that entire time um, i'm at the west mifflin yeah the west mifflin walmart here in the pittsburgh area context by the way so it's 1 p.m on a wednesday see here's the problem like food delivery when is it most busy on food delivery during the dinner rush. Usually, like, it's common sense, 5 to 9 p.m. Typically, that's what these companies say. Grocery, Spark, like when is it busiest? It's a Wednesday afternoon, but this is basically all grocery orders, and those orders, I mean, people get groceries all the time. But maybe Sundays, you would think so sometimes, let me know. I got an order. I had to wait a good amount of time. It's 1.30 right now, but I got an order. It's $13.28. It's 5.8 miles. That's a good dollar to mile ratio. It's like $2 plus. Mike, that's good. But always with Walmart Spark, you have to come back to the centrally based locations. Walmart, Sam's, and this marketplace, Advanced Auto. But uh, that basically means I'll have to come back. Problem number two is someone remind me down below in the comments, but they only send orders at certain times. Like literally, like what is it? A quarter past? Like every 15 minutes or something? Remind me down below. But they only send orders at certain times. So I got this order. It's 1.30. I already got it. I got it like 10 minutes ago. But I cannot pick. I can't go 20 feet over there to pick it up until the pickup time at 1.45. So it's going to be an additional like 20 minutes of wait time after I actually got the request until I can even pick it up. Now I have to wait, hopefully, five minutes. But ugh, that's another problem with Spark that I've been experiencing going to be like 45 minutes yeah of wait time here at the walmart all right pulling up to the destination here so you know how this is going to go i'm going to get out and unload all those groceries now i do use those grocery hooks helps me carry everything uh, especially with walmart not putting a lot of stuff in each bag that's just how we do it typically all right back at the walmart and maybe my lux turn it around folks walmart spark best side hustle ever no but maybe my luck's turning around though. $20 and 32 cents. It's two stops, which just means it's a basic run, like pick up and then drop off, two stops. And 8.4 miles, extra earnings. And the ending destination is more in the Pittsburgh city center. So I might multi-app after this, maybe with um, point pickup, possibly. But it says apartment too. So I've noticed they're starting to have S logos i'll say signals symbols that symbols and logos that says hey this is a shop and deliver and notations that in this case it's an apartment again i looked at the items here after i accepted it nothing crazy so this should be pretty good and again dollars to mile granted we'll see if i come back or not seems pretty good order number two picked up uh checked in at what 2 45 p.m it is now just about 3 p.m so there's about yeah, I get. I guess it really was 15 minutes of wait time, and I still had some yeah wait time until I could even pick it up. Well, check in I should say at 2:45. I also saw what we were thinking might be a glitch. So 
it shows you, remember, the items that are on your order. But it was showing me like two of everything. I have two, three drawer dressers, hair dryer, mouse pad, double of everything than what he gave me. And I showed him like, hey, you know, aren't I supposed to get, you know, two of this, two of that? And then he showed me what he has on his handheld. And it's like, hey, you know, this is your full order. If we can't get anything, then we'll let the customer know and refund them. But this is it. So just so you know, so not only did that delivery go seamless, I basically had the best case scenario if you're busy. So listen to this, if you have a lot of things going on. If something comes up, you need flexibility. This is really why I like the gig economy. Let me know if you agree. But I got an appointment, I got a haircut. I got an appointment in like an hour. So I didn't want to drive another, I think it was 20 minutes back to that Walmart, sit for hopefully like what? five, 10 minutes waiting for a request. Even if I got one, there's been delays where like, hey, you can't get it until 15 minutes from now. And then five minutes wait for that. And then another, what, 10 to 20 minutes to the customer. So I audibled, you know, I just went online with uh, a different app, which is wonderful. Because I told you this ending destination is fantastic. It's more in the city center. So I have options. So I went on Point Pickup, which is like another last mile grocery delivery service, and exactly what I wanted. I got a stellar dollars to mile ratio. I'm liking Point Pickup. I mean, most all of the runs I've done are stellar. The wait times have been next to nothing. They're ready, and then it's short on mileage. So I can do this run, get a good margin on it, not drive a lot of miles, and I have plenty of time to get to my appointment. It's pretty great. All right, that's it. What do you think here? Shift 12.30 p.m. until 4 p.m., three and a half hours. Uh, uh, gross revenue, 33.60 on Spark. That's including a pending $5 tip. 10.44 on that point pickup for a uh, total gross revenue, $44.04 for a gross revenue per hour, $12.58. That is mainly waiting for, no, just waiting, waiting. I was going to say waiting for orders. It's just waiting on Spark still, you know, I, uh, I keep trying on Spark, giving them a chance and it's the wait times every, and I, I understand it's anecdotal. I'm one driver in one marketplace. Let me know if you've waited for orders or your pickup, but then it's still more time because it's like 15 minutes, let's say, to the customer, right, for your delivery. But then again, it's it's doubling everything. It's doubling the miles and the time back to another pickup. I can't make sense of Spark. Let me know, how can you make sense of Spark or other centrally based warehouses? Because you always have to come back. Well, I did three total deliveries today and I have maybe two tips. I mean, the one tipped on Spark, but the other one did not. And then we're waiting on point pickup right now. That's still processing. Business miles at 35.9. A lot of that was commuting though, initially from my location here down to the initial Walmart. And I was online. So those miles counts as business miles. So that's what, I don't know, 12 miles, whatever it is down there. Pretty abysmal, $1.23 per mile. And those miles equate to a tax deduction of $23.51. I could have made more money staying in this area and then multi-apping food delivery with the point pickup and then anything else that would have kept me in the zone, really. Here's a last tip for you. If you can multi-app and you have power strips, areas that are really dense with restaurants for food delivery, and it makes sense to do, let's say, grocery, as long as you're a fast shopper, and there's Walmarts nearby or another, you know, Sam's Club. We have 1-800-Flowers, I think, here as well, and the advanced auto parts. But if Spark locations are near you, then it might make sense because I'm not, you know, having to drive all the way down there and you don't even have to go back if you don't want to because you can do like what I did, just multi-app with the other apps in your market. But just doing Walmart Spark, every time I give them a chance here, I don't know. It's just not refined yet. There's too much time. There's too much of a time suck on Walmart Spark. But uh, let me know what you think.